Hello friends, welcome to The Electrochemist, thank you for tuning into the channel, on this channel we discuss all things battery development including existing lithium-ion batteries, new and emerging battery systems, battery supply chain, cell production, and battery application. If this is something that interests you, please subscribe to this channel and keep watching. In this video we would review the progress and future targets of one of the major companies leading the solid-state battery development by analyzing actual cell testing data from the company. This company is Solid Power, in my opinion they are one of the best positioned companies with a clear plan on how to bring solid-state lithium batteries to the market. Solid Power is considered one of the leaders in all solid-state batteries, developing and producing OEM-validated batteries and materials on industry-standard equipment. With over eight years of experience in battery research and development, three years of manufacturing expertise in cell production with production lines validated by multiple OEMs and Tier 1 battery producers, the company is primed for large-scale solid-state battery production. The company also has a seasoned team of researchers, board members, and investors that back it financially and align it with major automobile OEMs. As an electrochemical engineer who works as a battery cell materials engineer, one of the things that makes Solid Power stand out is the fact that all of the battery test results that they publish are from actual production line cells and not just laboratory fabricated coin or single layer pouch cells. This is unlike most battery startups who publish unverified data with little to no credible professional details. They do this to get media coverage and investors funding knowing their battery cell is not ready for the market, this was sadly the case with QuantumScape and a few other companies. I know firsthand that results of coin cells or single-layer pouch cells can never be compared to multi-layer cells or production line cells because a lot of things change electrochemically and practically as you scale up cell production. It is professional fraud to claim a technology is world-changing when it was only tested in a few coin cells with no consistency. Solid Power's all-solid-state platform is a revolutionary advancement because they cover all bases when it comes to successfully bringing a battery product to market in that the energy density or cycle life was not the only focus. Solid-state EV cells developed by Solid Power deliver almost double the range of lithium-ion batteries, longer cell calendar life, they are safer because there are not highly volatile and toxic chemicals in them, they are cheaper at the cell and pack level and can be easily scaled up during manufacturing. The development of their solid-state cells have also been systematic and progressive with real electrochemical test results obtained towards the commercialization. The development of Solid Power's solid state battery has been geared towards application in electric vehicles as this has been made possible by their partnership with world class automobile companies who require high energy density, super safe, and scalable batteries for electric vehicles. Some of the company's major partners, like BMW and Ford, have invested billions into the company's solid state battery development. Since there are different battery chemistry such as sodium ion batteries, aluminium ion batteries, etc., the realistic pathway to battery dominance is for the industry to develop all battery chemistries and apply them to specific applications that they are best suited for. For example, low energy density batteries like sodium ion batteries could be used for grid storage, peak shaving and stationary applications while high energy density systems like lithium metal and solid state batteries can be used for energy demanding applications like electric vehicles. Solid Power's solid-state batteries are characterized by superior energy density in comparison to many of the existing lithium-ion battery chemistries and they are poised to be ultra-low cost which makes them even more attractive for large-scale commercialization. Considering the fact that means of transportation such as passenger cars, medium, and heavy-duty trucks, and light-duty trucks, including sport utility vehicles, pickup trucks, and minivans account for the largest sources of greenhouse gas emissions, it is not surprising that most automobile companies are now shifting towards electric vehicles. More significantly, many automakers are committing to solid-state batteries because of the many advantages that are associated with it over liquid electrolyte lithium-ion batteries. The increase in the number of battery fires from EVs and energy storage systems has been a key driving force for this gradual transition towards safer battery options. The all-solid-state value proposition is one that is very attractive even though realization of the perfect solid-state battery on a large scale is still a bit far away. Solid-state electrolytes are divided into three categories, they are polymers, oxides, and sulfides. These solid-state electrolytes are categorized differently because of their unique properties but of all three, majority of the key players in this space are focused on sulfide-based solid-state electrolytes because of their superior conductivity, ease of preparation, stability at high temperatures and ability to operate at room temperature unlike the other category of solid-state electrolytes. Solid Power truly leads the industry in scalable solid-state battery production because their cells do not contain any form of liquid or gel-like material like quasi-solid-state batteries. 
This is important because the absence of any form of corrosive or highly reactive liquid substances in the cells signify a higher level of safety as it relates to the potential for battery fires and explosions. Solid Power have also developed their manufacturing process in a way that it allows them use the widely adopted roll-to-roll -roll manufacturing process employed in liquid lithium-ion battery production. This definitely explains why they are able to manufacture their all-solid-state batteries at a low cost. The largest contributor to processing cost during battery production is the electrolyte interface formation step. This process may take up to three weeks, requiring a tremendous number of cycles, floor space and intense energy for the cyclers and environmental chambers. To this end, it is important to highlight the fact that due to the absence of a liquid electrolyte in solid power's all-solid-state battery, there is no need for the multiple steps involved in a lithium-ion battery production such as formation, aging, and degassing since the electrolyte is a solid one. The elimination of this step makes assembly of the all-solid-state battery more efficient, improves the power throughput of the process because it is faster than a traditional lithium-ion battery production line. This roll-to-roll -roll production line of solid power is still at a megawatt scale, but it is truly inspiring, and it shows promise for gigawatt scale up. One of the key reasons for Tesla's successes in the battery and EV industry was their ability to manage every part of the supply chain step involved in the production of their cells and solid power has also managed to do the same. The company has two product groups in that they are able to produce their own proprietary sulfide-based solid-state electrolyte and manufacture their all-solid-state batteries in a cost-effective and scalable way. The company currently produces up to 100 kg per month of solid electrolyte, which will be scaled to 500,000 kg per month by vehicle startup production. All precursors used to produce their proprietary solid-state electrolyte are also produced from common, commercial-grade materials produced in very large quantities. This is also a very big tick for the company because it means they can comfortably manage cost on a cell and pack level. It is also worth mentioning that their solid-state electrolyte is low in nickel and many of the other critical materials. All these characteristics makes their sulfide-based electrolyte one of the most advanced known solid electrolytes in the industry. By controlling the electrolyte precursor production, electrolyte development, electrolyte production, cell development and cell production, solid power is uniquely positioned for rapid development and scale-up. Despite the advancements made in solid-state battery development, solid-state electrolytes are still the main barrier that hinders the development of solid-state batteries, because there is no such a single solid-state electrolyte that is compatible with both the highly reductive and chemically active alkali metal anodes and oxidative high-voltage cathodes. For example, the application of NMC cathode has been hampered by the fact that Ni-rich cathodes have poor compatibility with solid-state electrolytes and may cause degradation of the solid-state electrolytes. This is another advantage of the solid power solid state electrolyte in that it is a flexible all solid state electrolyte because it accommodates all existing and potential anode and cathode materials used for lithium ion battery development including silicon and lithium metal anode. The product roadmap for solid power is deployment of a high content silicon anode and the common industry NMC cathode with solid power's proprietary solid state electrolyte. The high content silicon anode offers a high energy density cell to the industry although there are issues surrounding dendrite formation associated with silicon anodes and the potential for battery fires. However, the use of a solid state electrolyte limits the possibilities of an explosion or fire even though dendrite formation is a challenge which hampers cell cycle life. This is the information that a lot of people want to know because it is actual data from the company. Actual cell test results from solid power shows that, when tested as a coin cell, solid power's solid state lithium battery with high content silicon anode of up to 50% silicon delivered an energy and volumetric density of greater than 390 WH slash kg and 930 WH slash L at 0.2 C over 1000 cycles at room temperature and 45 degrees Celsius. The cell was able to charge up to 90% in less than 15 minutes which is a significant achievement for such a high energy density cell at low and high temperatures. However, it is important to identify that there is some context to this result because they are obtained for coin cells and not large format pouch cells. Interestingly, actual result of solid power's high silicon content anode all solid state battery pouch cells show that the 0.27 R production line built pouch cells with up to 50% silicon anode only achieved about 500 cycles with 85% retention at 0.2 C at room temperature and 45 degrees Celsius. This simply highlights my earlier point that electrochemical test results obtained for coin cells are not necessarily repeatable in pouch cells because the scale of operation is larger for a pouch cell and that means higher resistivity and a greater propensity for errors and dendrite formation on the surface of the electrodes. 
This means there is still work to do and improvements are required for the cell to be truly comparable to liquid electrolyte lithium-ion battery in terms of cycle life even if the energy density supersedes that of commercial lithium-ion batteries. Solid Power reported that their coin cell solid-state lithium battery with an ultra-thin lithium metal anode can deliver a higher energy and volumetric density of greater than 440 WH slash KG and 930 WH slash L over 1000 cycles. The cell charged up to 90% in less than 20 minutes. These energy densities and cycle life performances are superior in comparison to commercial lithium-ion batteries with liquid electrolyte and they demonstrate stable charge and discharge properties down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. This is also an impressive result considering the energy and volumetric densities as well as the temperature range of the cell. We look forward to seeing what the performance of this ultra-thin lithium metal anode will be when solid power provides actual result of production line pouch cell cycle tech. The results provided so far show superior performance to current lithium-ion batteries and is expected to drive mass market adoption of solid-state batteries. One of the major barriers to mass adoption of electric vehicles is cost, many people feel that EVs are just way too expensive, and this is contributed to by the additional challenges posed by increased prices for materials needed to manufacture batteries such as lithium, nickel, and cobalt. Additionally, labor cost is another major driver of increased battery and EV prices especially in developed countries like the US where most solid-state battery manufacturers are located. At automotive scale, solid power's bill of materials is expected to approach $60 per kilowatt hour and be dominated by cost of cathode active material, similar to lithium-ion batteries. The company however expects that as they transition to next-generation cathode active materials, its cost per kilowatt hour advantage over lithium-ion batteries has the potential to be a further step function improvement with current cathode active material costing $35 per kilowatt hour, the company expects its next-generation cathode active material to be $3 per kilowatt hour. These costs will put solid power solid state battery at a cell level cost of $85 per kilowatt hour compared to the $142 per kilowatt hour average cost of current lithium ion batteries. It is expected that solid power packs will be cost advantaged thereby making it an attractive proposition to automakers and consumers. Every company that will successfully dominate the electric vehicle market must have a clear and precise plan with realistic timelines and solid power has consistently shown this from its inception till date. A clear plan from solid electrolyte production to vehicle start of production has been put in place and it begins with repeating test results and gradually scaling up. As solid power gears up to enter the automotive qualification phase, we are laser focused on optimizing cell design in order to meet or exceed all of our customers' requirements, we are now working to replicate these initial results in larger format, production line produced cells. Said Josh Butner Garrett, Chief Technology Officer at Slash L. If the company is able to achieve these targets at the set timeline it is certainly going to be a significant achievement which will not only solidify its position as a leader in this space but also fast-track the adoption of solid-state batteries and EVs. I would like to know what your thoughts are, do you think solid-state lithium batteries are the perfect electrochemical system for the future for mobile applications especially EVs or do you think they are a fad that will become obsolete very soon? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your support by smashing the like button, share this video with a friend and make sure to subscribe to this channel. I love you, I appreciate you, see you in the next video.